this is going to be a, uh, a quicker end of season review with Colin on the Coon round baler. It's a 3160. What we'll do first is we'll just cut into some footage of it working in the field and then we'll get Colin to talk about it. Cause I know and you know what we could be like a song like a first came to us we had just a couple of small tiny issues so we're going to talk about those first we have only just finished bailing so it is going to be a bit dusty uh, one of the issues was uh, one of the automatic boiling points yeah it comes through there and it comes from the other side basically this T-piece this two piece here that was on the other side of the baler right off the pump and it was only pumping through one of the one of the lines wasn't it Carl? It was done somewhere there and then it, it hadn't got the pressure to push it over. No so it was only coming out of one of the lines on this side so what we did was instead of having two lines come through we just have the one don't we and then tee it That's here it. just it's before the chain. Tee there the other side yeah because it it wouldn't come down this pipe to deliver no it just took so one of these on the other side it took the easiest route yeah and, but it was a simple thing to do yeah so we just and put we just swapped the two out. bit they're all oily yeah and that that was an easy fix wasn't it yeah well, the other thing was just a grease point up here one of the fittings was off wasn't it yeah it and this was missing wasn't it yeah simple as that it was no biggie click on, we click on so we yeah just, just put a new one of those on we just and swapped them over for a day or two until we got a new one yeah it was easy yeah uh, we've got a new one of those we've got that sorted and there was another thing with a net you wanted to talk about wouldn't there yeah we go when we first started bailing the net was feeding off this side we've got it feeding off the back right, so yeah. it straight pull up when it was feeding off this side like that yeah kept lifting that brake up oh okay it's flicking the metal brake up yeah, yeah that brake sits down on there yeah. stops it stops it bobbling and doing about yeah. and what it's feeding off from there and lifting it up so then your neck can bobble and bow and it won't cut right? because there's no tension for the knife to cut it clean all it does it just keeps going past the knife and keeps going in and in and in right. so the simple fix was just we just put it in back to front put it in back to front and that cured that didn't it have not an issue since no i haven't tried it the other way around in case because you can see where it runs it's nice and smooth now yeah could have been just with brand new, just paint. Yeah. It's just just newness. Paint, yeah. yeah, and it might, if you swung it around now, it might work. Yeah. But it actually operates perfectly fine like that, so why change it if it's working? Yeah, yeah. no point. No, it did it a couple of times when we first had it. I remember I had a class baler and I had to run that back to front. Yeah. It, it, that was worse because that used to push the brake over and the net used to jump out. 
right there. So if yeah. you didn't stand on the brakes, in the front it went. <laughs> and that used to make a right mess. Yeah, I can imagine. Uh, and I, that was just the same. It just kept flicking the brake off on that. And that was very similar to this. Yeah. But tried it away it went, so we called it fixed. Yeah, so that's... Uh... I, I don't know whether they've had issues with them or... No, so if you are having issues with your, your net and you've got this sort of baler, that's a quick easy fix, you've probably done it already because most people would try something when they try everything, don't you, in the field and you... Yeah, and that, that cured that straight away, didn't it? You didn't yeah. have an issue since, did you? No, 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 yeah. So, this season, Carl, we've done four and a half thousand bales with it, haven't we? Yeah, we not would probably. This season. No, not a mental. We what would probably... we've done, it's been horrible. Yeah. Absolutely terrible bailing. If you can bail what we've done this year, you can bail any season. Yep. Like this, it's like grass cutting, so it's like a lawnmower. Yeah. The New Holland would not have bailed that. Just, we wouldn't have even, we wouldn't even entertain it. Really? You, you literally wouldn't bother. You, you knew you couldn't bail that. Oh, right. And what's the issue then? Why, why wouldn't you have known about that? Wouldn't turn in the baler. It right. used to get to a certain top, sort of torque in there and stop turning. Yeah. And it, then it stopped the bouts turning. So you have to either open the tailgate slightly to let it turn. Yeah. Or, or lob the bale out. If that didn't cure it, you have to lob the bale out. And oh, right. It, it really was terrible. And yeah, because this year everything we've had short hay, haven't we? We've had short oh, been silage. The, what we've been doing today is silage, isn't it? Yeah. And this, this, this is short. This yeah. is short. Or you, know, you can see it there. That's the stuff we're trying to bale. It's um, it's been a nightmare. Yeah. And even the straw, the barley straw, was ever so short, wasn't it? Yeah, it was short. Yeah, nothing. It's been it's terrible. terrible. Uh, new old baler would have, you know, have been a terrible year for baler. With this, we just just kept going. It's just really, really, really it's been impressive. Let's talk about the bung-ups, because we have had a couple of bung-ups, haven't we? Oh, yeah. Oh, well, I haven't bung up I, at all. Have you not? I'm, I've not bung this up once this season. Oh, right. I know the farmer's bunged up, but you showed me a quick, easy way of... Right, yeah, it's under all the dust, of course it is. <laughs> but there's a special tool, isn't there? Yeah, try it. You can bung it up, because we have bunged it up. We're not going to lie and say we haven't bunged it up, because we have. That goes in there. Spring on the end, yeah. So you can't leave it in there. Ah. So if you forgot, oh, you don't make a mess of there. your panels. <laughs> well, what a mess that'd make, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. I see. I wonder what the spring is for. Oh, it's a bit of a pain because you, you can't hold it in. It's no. A bit of Once the, on it. Oh, I see. see like that, you can turn, you're turning it away like that. Yeah. But if it's full in the chamber. Yeah. You can't turn the baler, so you just put that clutch out. Yeah. And all your turn there. You can back pick feed up. everything that's bunged in there. Just wind it all out. Because you'll never move the baler with that little bar. No. Ever. No. Not with a bale in it. No. When it's empty, it's, you have to remember that our back has nothing moving. You've got to remember? Yeah, okay. It's got a ratchet on it, so if you hit the ground with that, yeah. the pickup stops. Right. So that could be the issue with it, more than more than it bunging up with too much stuff, the pick up touching the ground. Right. And it, it is ever so sensitive. Really, yeah. really, you know, you have to make sure your wheels are in the right place. Yeah. Not like out here, I've got them right down. Set, oh, okay, so you adjust down. that in every field, do you? You will? Not when you're on. If you're on straw, all the fields are flat, so it's yeah. not rigid for it. Yeah. Out here, there's all that ridge and furrow. You're yeah. better off leaving a bit yeah. than breaking it. So. Yeah, okay. So you, and you can adjust it on the terrain on the spring. That adjusts it half a link. Okay, yeah. So that, that's half a link adjustment. Yeah. But, and if you can't get the fine adjustment, you can twist the chain. Right. So if you twist the chain, it brings it over. Oh, a quarter Solid of it. Bit. Yeah, a quarter of a jet. Okay. Um, and it's a, it's does it make a good bale, in your opinion? Nice, beautiful bale. We've got some bales out here. Let's have a quick look at a bale. Considering we've got, oh, we've got, the rubbish is baling. Yeah. And on a normal year, Cole, you, 
you you say you never normally even try and bail this with that. With, with you wouldn't oil, even. We wouldn't have, no, I don't. It, it seems to. Uh, I mean, that's a perfectly round bail, isn't it? Yeah. The rubbish. This is. Well, no, it's not rubbish. It's just short. That's all. Yeah, it's just short. Everything. Yeah. The whole year has been short grass, short, short crops, and so you short straw. Made wagon wheel. You made a big one. Yeah. How did you do that? Because you said about that before. The settings yeah. reset them, right? No. Yeah. The net broke. Right, it finished. Yeah. And uh, the buzzer went off, so I pressed the button to turn the buzzer off because it sets it back to uh, manual. Right. I forgot all about it. Carry on. <laughs> is that a normal thing or is that a problem? So that the, it's so that it can't, if you are working on the machine, the knife won't trip in. Right. Oh, okay. Because you know, if you were in there, so if it puts itself back to manual, yeah. then it can't automatically, if you did some so it's a safety, thing. safe. So That's all it'll be, yeah. I should think. Right. It's just one of the things you've got to get used to on it. The other one never did that. No, but so you've got to remember to put it back on, put your percentage Yeah, or you end up with a big wheel, a uh, big wagon wheel looking thing. Yeah. And uh, it'll make, how big veils? It'll go from small ones all the way up to? 160, it goes up to. And, and these that's centimetres, is it? Yeah, these are 135 we're doing these, huh? And they're about four foot? <laughs> four foot six. Four foot. Oh, four like foot six, yeah, okay. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it makes it, it, it'll, it'll do a little tiny one, like as long as the core goes, right? Because it'll, it'll net it, yeah. So, you, you know, it'll go from that big to like right them, yeah, <laughs> to the big ones, yeah. Cool. And with the straw coal, it's pretty good on the straw, yeah, it's no hassle at all, easy, just simple. I've noticed other people have been driving it this year, yeah, because it is just an easy thing to yeah find. I even had a go on it and yeah, you it, know with the new one and nobody else wanted to do it because it was just you was needed a, a week on it. it yeah to learn uh, it and then you got the hang of it <laughs> you know it yeah. was, I don't say there's anything wrong with the baler really to use for driving it when everything was going well yeah it was all hunky dory but it just it's been easy this year, has it? It's just so, it's chalk and cheese they are. Really? You know, that you don't, it, you get a bit bored really. Oh right, <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah, I can imagine, yeah, because yeah. it's all going swimmingly. Yeah, you can sort of, sort of forget it really, yeah. and then, you know, which is wrong, you, you, that's where I expect them to bung it up, but, yeah. you know, you just keep going and keep going. It, the farmer noticed the other day, Carl, we were doing some ever so short hay, and it wrapped around some of the rollers around the top but he said it didn't happen until after about yeah. 70 or 80 bales it gets it builds up it gets up in here it's what these are for right. stop it stop anything going up and round yeah and what it does it drags up round them and then all of a sudden a big lump will, it'll come round and then it goes round your roller it get round there's a bit round that one there that bit of net but it won't hurt nothing. No. But yeah. if you've got a lot of grass, yeah. it's best to get it out. Yeah. Or a lot of straw. Yeah. But it doesn't do it in straw. It, it'll do it in grass. What, what I was doing was getting out every 40 or 50 bales, yeah. just pull it off. Yeah. Yeah, before it gets Before it time. flicked itself over. Right. I mean, they work. It works brilliant. But there's, there's nowhere for the grass to go once it's yeah, once it's built up. Yeah. Well, and, and an issue is just get out every now and then, pull it off. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about maintenance then, Carl. What sort of maintenance have we got to do on this? Has it been pretty easy? Is it just greasing this? So grease her up in the morning, blow yeah. her off. Yeah, they're all in banks. There's one or two that we have to find underneath a bit. oh yeah some hidden ones yeah I see that's on the drop floor what's yeah. the drop uh, let's talk about the drop floor have you used that I've used it no but all it does it lowers on them cylinders yeah it just lowers the the uh, feeding tape floor out of the way yeah so the bum can go into the baler oh right so you can draw it in and once it's gone in Slap that back up, yeah, and away you go again. And it just stuffs it into the bale, into the bale instead of. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I yeah, see. Yeah, it just goes in. Yeah. Oh, I've, I've, I've seen it. Yeah, it worked. 
drive and that's YouTube here. Yeah. Hopefully you don't bug it up. Yeah. <laughs> well, that works on the, the same cylinder as a pickup. So you only need two pipes. Oh right, okay. Uh, two, two spools. So right. on, on the box you press your button and then that operates the drop knob. Yeah. So it just cuts in the pipes you need. Yeah. Oh, that's good then. Yeah, because the other one had a reverser on it. Yeah. So you, you had three, oh, so you three can... spools and you, you pulled the lever and it sort of chunked back yeah. to reverse the, the stuff button. out the front. Yeah, okay. Worked, but not very well. It did get you out of trouble sometimes. It, generally, you knew if you bunged it out that much, you would bog it in. Yeah. But it's, it's a very good failure in it. The oil, it actually holds enough for a full day. Oh, right, okay. Which is, don't sound much, but when you've got to carry a can of oil around with you all the time, yeah. there's nowhere to put it. No. So if you have it in the cab, it stinks. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Bound short to leak all over it and all over the floor. But it actually put a big enough tank on it. Yeah, because, you know, there's plenty of space there, isn't there? So, yeah. Yeah, it does. I mean, it's. it's so the plenty. new one had a little one, it did. Yeah. Oh, right, you was constantly filling it up. It used to just about last as long as a net did. So you, what you did was you put a net in and filled, filled your oil up. Right. So okay. it, it was because you can adjust the oil flow on them. Yeah. But that is sort of wrong to turn the oil flow down so you can make the oil make it last because you get lubricating enough. Yeah. Well, it's just it. little things. That, yeah. You know, for reliability. Well. For reliability, it's been brilliant. We haven't had to do any work on it. We haven't had to buy any parts for it, have we? We haven't no. had to do anything. Well, we had one bolt come undone. Yeah. All oh, right. Then. Just where I'm it's bouncing that, about. That, it's that side. Yeah. Yeah, it's that side. I'll put another bolt in. Yeah. I don't think this is as good as the new one. No. The bail kicker. Right. It could do with, I think it needs to be slightly longer. Okay. Rather than just have this piece, if it had two of them. One at each side, yeah? Yeah, I think it'd be better. What does it do then, Carl? That, the bail lands on it, yeah. and it rolls away. So the tailgate don't come down on top of it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So the bail would just sit there, and, it'll and when the tailgate come down, yeah. Because with the really old bailer we had, you had to reverse up a bit, to throw the bail out, yeah. drive forward, then shut the tailgate down. Right. And is it is it staying there? Have you had... I had what, what it was why doing, why it do you want it's... two on there? Is it not doing its job or? With the straw bales being so light, yeah. it turned the turned the bale. So it, you know what I mean? It sort of turned it and if you were in tight rows, it'd roll it onto the row. Oh right, that's what you noticed when you were doing yeah, straw. Was, oh right, okay. But lucky with straw, you're in combine roads and they're so far apart. Yeah. But yeah. You know, on the ridge and furrow, you have to be careful where you let the bail out. Yeah. So it, it doesn't roll it away quite as efficiently as the other one. But yeah. So what you, what would be the fix? Have have one of these either side. I think uh, yeah. If you just have that plate sort of there and one there. Yeah. I think it cure it. You can adjust it to tension the springs up. Right. So that, that might cure it as well. Might do. Yeah. It's not really an issue. No. It's just something I noticed is different. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, that's fair comment. But uh, overall... It's a brilliant bailer. This it really is a good bailer. I will say the farmer has just, he said the one good thing that's happened this year is this bale has come to the farm, so. Yeah, it, yeah he hasn't made a mistake buying this one, I don't think at all. No. I mean, so, I don't know bales with it, really. Yeah. No, we'd normally do twice the amount twice. of bales. Oh, so yeah, yeah, easy, easy. So uh, come next year, we'll put it through its paces again, and we'll have another look at it at the end of next year and see if we're still <laughs> praising it. You never know. You, yeah. you got to, you got to give them a two or three years before you really know the reliability and everything else of them. It's, don't it you? seems better when you, that old baler just picked the tailgate up and it used to come up with such force it bounced the tractor. Right. So you have to sit on the brakes, so it bounces the tractor forward slightly and pick some more crop up. Oh. 
okay, and then just yeah. chuck it over straight over the open tailgate. So there was always a little pile of straw in front of every straw bale. Oh, I see. Yeah, I see. Because it came up with so heavy. Yeah. The tracks used to go like that. Yeah. So you had to make sure you got a foot on the brake to stop it. Right. This would don't. It's much smoother. Yeah. Well, everyone seems to like it. Everyone who's driven it says it's easy to use, and uh, Cole's the man that's used it the most. So we wanted to have a word with him and see what he thought about it. And he's used a lot of different balers over your time, haven't you, Cole? Yeah. You've had to go with a lot of a few different ones here and there, haven't you? Yeah. 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 And Would you say this has been the best one so far? So far, yeah. I can't. I haven't felt. Fault yeah, fault really. Yeah. And what about the box inside? The box is nice and easy to use, easy it to set up. Yeah. It was a simple. But I think the, you can have the big screen on it. Yeah. But what the big screen did, this box does. Yeah. But it was just the off. Right. Okay. Yeah, so don't, you don't, there's no real need for the big screen apart from it. I it's, couldn't uh, see the point in it. No, okay. it, it was a lot of money. Yeah. I expect there is a reason because it probably runs on the ice bus on to the tractor controls or on the tractor Yeah, cycle. on the tractor screens, yeah. <laughs> it probably can do all that then, yeah. but we've only got one tractor that does that, haven't we? Uh, uh, yeah, young Ant, yeah, yeah. yeah. The so one with the loader on. So if you, you're back to one tractor, one yeah. baler, that's We're, a pain, isn't it? It's, yeah, you want to use it on every tractor, like. We normally have it on our tractor. We can just swap the box over. Cole can put it on his tractor, no issues. Um, no that's been brilliant, actually, because we've had it on every. We've had it on the uh, even the older tractors, haven't we? Yeah, they've had it on. Too. So it's had um, it's um, had a fair test this year. To be fair, and it? yeah. I mean, it's, you've had the worst conditions you could ever have, yeah. and it hasn't let us down, has it? The, its biggest test is all this short stuff we've been buying. Yeah, it, it's just flown away. Yeah. And it's made a, a good bail out of what it's been getting, you know, it's been such an unfair year. Yeah. But it's still performed right, so yeah. you can't. So it, it can only get better. <laughs> well, if we get some really good going and it don't work properly. <laughs> well, that's we it, that yeah. <laughs> we'll have to test it in some good crops. <laughs> I think we can bail that and bail anything. Uh, yeah. There's a lot of things with like these adjustable wheels. Yeah. The other one, it, it was a... Uh, you have to have a spanners and they were nuts and bolts. Right, so to adjust it, it was... Yeah, yeah. you had to... Well, you had to guess the depth as well, because it was on a slide. Right. So you never got them exactly, unless you did it on the concrete in the yard. Okay. But that's no good, because you're not in the field where you need to be setting no. up. Yeah. With these, you just put it in the same hole each side, and you know they're the same. Yeah. So pre pretty impressed with it. Yeah, it's a good bailer. Very, very good bailer. Well built and thought out. Yeah. Not too complicated, no, which you don't need. Three circles everywhere. Yeah. New Holland didn't have them, so we had to drill them and put we had three circles on. Yeah, well, it, it was metal on metal, that's hopeless. It's not going to last, is it? No, but it's yeah, it's got three circles for everything. Yeah, so the only one issue was this T piece here. Yeah, that's nothing. That's what we put in, that was on the other side, so. If they're if Kuna watching and you uh, you want to add something to it, and it might not be, it might just be that ours would, wasn't feeding. It might be that every other is fine. <laughs> but that did bug, that yeah. did cure the problem, and uh, it wasn't really an issue. It was nothing to change, and it was. Uh, um, well, it's just been brilliant, hasn't it? Yeah. Right really it. So we're impressed with it. Yeah. And uh, long term test, we I mean. This is our machine, so over the next two or three years, we'll keep you updated with it on how it goes. But uh, everyone's really impressed with it. Cole loves it, and he's the man that does all the bailing. And uh, you know, everyone's really impressed with it. So yeah, I hope that gives some good insight to anyone who's looking at one or or, or wants to buy one. We're not sponsored by Coon or anything like that. We just uh, we just happened to buy this model this year and. Um, yeah, impressive machine. So, anything else to add to that, Cole? No. no. I thought we'd just do one last um, farmer's final thoughts on the baler, and you know, 
you bought this machine brand new this year. How has it been for you? Yeah, good, Matt. One of the highlights of the year, I think, because we didn't really know what to expect from it. We'd seen it for a long an hour on demo, two hmm. hours perhaps. Cole said it was good. He was spot on, wasn't he? Yeah. Um, I didn't think that it would be so far in front of the other one because the new Holland baler was a good baler. But this is density of bail, speed of bail, ease of control. I mean, the control box is a lot easier to get your head round. Yeah. And we can put it on any tractor. That's the <coughs> real beauty for us, is the fact that we can change it around. And what we've been bailing with it, Matt, is, um, you know, we would have been struggling this year. We got barley that was this tall. And, you know, you saw what went in the front of the combine. Yeah. Eight inches high. Comes out the back of the combine, four inches. Yeah. We would have been really struggling. We yeah. would have been struggling. And the same with grass. You know, earlier on there was not a huge amount of grass around. Later there was some grass on the silage, but it was four inches high. And I'm not so sure we would have been bailing much of that. No. Uh, we would have been afraid to bail it. We would have been afraid to cut it because it wasn't quite long enough. Yeah. And we cut, you know, not a massive amount, but we've certainly done enough with it. Wet grass, dry grass, you know, all of it very short. Yeah. So yeah. Diff it's had a difficult year to, to come straight in at, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, and, I, and it's quite surprised me, yeah. truthfully. Cole's I, I, well, I didn't expect it. Yeah. You know, I didn't expect it. Cole said we only did four and a half thousand with it. What would you normally do on a year? Uh, yeah, we, we would expect to do probably seven thousand. On a normal year? So yeah, seven so to eight. So it's a bit short on what we would normally that. do. The, the, the beauty is when you buy something and it performs like that, it's, you know, it's quite pleasing, it's quite satisfying. Yeah. Um, and we've had no, no issues with it over the, over the no. season, have we? No, none whatsoever. There no. was a little tiny thing at the start with the net that was actually flicking the brake off. Yeah, Colin's explained that actually. He's Colin just took it out, turned it around, he put it in backwards and it's just like run faultless for all of the time. Yeah. The feed on it is just, the, the one criticism that I would have is the, the pickup reel runs on a dog and it's wide, it's brilliant, but it's very sensitive. So if, if the tines touch the ground, it immediately stops. Yep. And I don't think that is quite strong enough that it could just do with um, uh, just a little bit more torque on the clutch so that it didn't stop quite so soon. Yep. <clears throat> the bonus is you don't break tines because yep. if you hit the ground, so that's the plus side of it. Yep. And it, it, it actually makes you set it correctly. Yeah. Because if you don't, it will stop. Yeah. So that is perhaps, if, if you wanted the one negative, that is probably it. Everything else on it, Matt, we, we, we have been over the moon with. The, you know, the, the real plus point for us is that the net feed and things like this is very, very similar to the New Holland. Yep. And it's just bloody faultless. You, you know, we, we, a coal th I think, uh, you know, I threw one loose bale driver error, Cole's thrown in driver error. Yeah. The baler itself has not thrown a loose bale. No. And that, you know, it's just astounding. For a, for a first time outing as well. For us old boys were first time outings. That's... Uh, we did, at the start, we did have a couple of bung ups. Was that due to our fault or the machine's fault? Do you remember when, or was it just, it was tough grass, wasn't it? Right. We that, it. Yeah, because that's when we went to Bistri into that bit that's of rough it. work. Well, it was, that is going back to what I was saying about the pickup, Matt. The pickup stops, if, right. it, if it's on from rough going and you haven't got it set quite right, it, yeah. it is very, very sensitive to stopping the pickup run. Then, of course, the pickup will start again and it'll take a lump in. Right. So, that, that I think in Bistri, that's what happened there. And it was wet grass. We were, we were perhaps pushing our luck a little bit. The build quality of it, Matt, is fantastic. You, you look at the, the, the size of the steel used, the size of the bolts. The, the frame of it is really well built. 
ever so strong. This frame here comes around, nothing wobbles about. On a lot of the kit we got, you know, going back to some of the tethers, the classes, stuff like this, where it's made of plastic with a frame that wobbles about, everything falls off, irritating as hell. But the build quality of this is just brilliant. It really is a strong main. You were saying there's something about here? The, for this, to alter the pitch of the wheels, Matt, the, to alter your pickup and your thing, two seconds. You, you change it, you don't need spanners, you don't need tools. You know, everything is on that, you just come there, it's mechanical, it's brilliant. Yeah. And it, you know, to me, it's everything, isn't it? You don't get down the field, and, oh, I haven't got my spanner with me, you know, it's been taken out of the toolbox or whatever. This thing is just superb. The, all, all of this, you look at this, man, just built. Yeah. In, you know, instead of being made of paper mache that falls off when it rains, you know, to me, this is just brilliant. Yeah. And it's not fancy, it's not gimmicky. Everything on it is functional. Tailboard. Tailboard, yeah. hatch, catches. Yeah. Worked exactly what I thought they would. Yeah. Uh, you know, just... And it is so fast. It, it really has just astounded me how fast it is. Um, the speed of the net going on is the main thing. The, the baler itself, the New Holland would bail at the same speed as this. Yeah. You could get along at the same speed. But the speed of the net going on, and to not falter when it's doing it, uh, yeah, ever so pleasing. Yeah. No, we've been well chuffed with it. We, yeah. we, that's, that's one of the highlights of the season, I would suggest. But the, just the, you know, I'm astounded at how much it gets in a bail. Yeah. Where do, you know, we've, we've all thought about it. Whether it's to do with the short grass or the long grass, Matt, I don't know that. Um, but the bales are certainly heavier. Yeah. We've noticed it on straw. Yeah. You know, when we're trying the, to roll yeah, straw. Yeah, instead around. of going forwards and back with a... It's going one, uh, half again, isn't it? Yeah. So and, it, and we, you know, our way... We stuck two bales on the way bridge. We, we had a pack of hay that was 300 kilos. One of these, which was 280... 280. And one of Darren's, which was 250. Yeah. So this actually is thrown out a round bale, not even a full size round bale, it's a four foot round bale yeah. that is actually the equivalent hay going into it as a big square. Yeah. So is it a good contractor's baler? Probably not. But is it a good farmer's oh, baler? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Fantastic farmer's baler. And if the guy comes yeah. turns up with this and you're going to get a lot of hay in a bale or a lot of straw in a bale, um, yeah. But that's all controllable, isn't it? In the box, you can turn yes, that up and yeah, down as you please, yeah, can't you? Yeah. And we've got so it set for us. Quite it's quite it's, stacked. So yeah. It's, in a way, it's perfect. We, we're going to have to be a little bit careful next year. I think that we we would probably slacken the hay bales off a bit. Yeah. Because you can soon spoil hay having them too tight. Right. So next year we'll probably will. Sl and the, the beauty, you can slacken the core off to the outside, so you can actually have the centre of the bale mm -hmm. a little bit lighter. Yeah. So that's quite a good thing, um, which we we probably will next year be a little bit more careful over. Next year will be different, mate. The, the row will be twice as big, um, and if it performs like it does in short grass, it will perform in long. I know. Yeah. It, it, yeah. So uh, how it packs <coughs> more in, I have no idea. I, I would have thought a rain baler was a rain baler. But you, you were saying it's one of the only good things that happened this year. Uh, yeah, I would have said so. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so there weren't too many highlights to this year. No, but this was one of them. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I, I know so. Yeah. What we'll see next is, is how reliable it is because it'll stay with us for a few years now, yeah. won't it? Yeah, definitely. So uh, yeah. you'll get to follow us and see how it goes in terms of reliability. So, but uh, pretty impressive so far. Yeah. Yeah, definitely exceeded all of our expectations. I think. Yeah you know all, all of us that have been on it and i love the fact that we can put it on any tractor that, yeah that is just such a bonus did you use the drop floor much no no i used it once that time we went to bista um we haven't bunged up but it's not been the crops to bung it up no you know in all honesty it, there's just not been the quantity around of anything um and they, he, they, they just eat grass, cross. I think I, I, I had to slow up because it, 
I was going too quick, if that makes sense. Yeah. Well, there's one with baling the Timothy grass. It was the one crop that was a good crop. Yeah. And you know what, on the Timothy grass, but it just was well, swallowing it as fast as I could go, as fast as I could sit in the seat. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. So, yeah, no good. Or a very, very good baler. That'll be good. Right, we'll leave it there. And uh, thanks for watching, as always. And um, yeah, that's a end of season review on the Coon. 3160 baler really pleased with it and keep following us and you'll you'll get to see the reliability on it over the f years to come so um thanks very much for watching as usual and we'll catch you soon cheers